In this SPSS tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do regression analysis step by step. So after coding your data in the variable view and entering your data in the data view, we saw how to do this in lesson two. In lesson one, I showed you how to, how to download and install the SPSS software. In lesson two, we saw how to enter data in SPSS, how to code our data in the variable view and how to enter the data in the data view. Then in lesson three, we saw a series of analysis. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you specifically how to do the regression analysis in SPSS. After inputting your data, you come to the menu bar when you want to do the regression analysis and click on analyze. When you click on analyze, you see a drop down. On the drop down, there is a list of analysis you can do. Then you come to regression. This is the regression option. Then under regression, you can see that there are a lot of regression analysis you can do. And they are like divided into three parts. So I'm going to do three examples, one from each of these parts in this um, drop down that we have here. So first of all, let's see how to do a linear regression. So if you want to do a linear regression, you click on this linear. After clicking on linear, this pops up. Then you have to determine your dependence variable, your independent variable, your selection variable, and the labels, the case labels, and the WLS weights, if you like. Then you come here and pick the statistical analysis we want to do and the type of plot we also want to do. So for my dependence variable, I'm going to pick the number of sessions for my independence variable. I'm going to pick um, the age of the patient. Then for my statistical analysis, I'm going to do a uh, um, covariance matrix. Yes. Okay. I should also do, um, I also do a confidence interval and estimates. Then I'll do a model fit. Then I'll do um, Dublin Watson, remove the case wise diagnosis, diagnostic then for the plot, I want to plot the histogram. Okay, histogram is already picked. So I'm going to do um, histogram for that. Then I'll click on continue. So after imputing all this and coding for the linear regression, you click on OK and SPSS is going to do the linear, um, SPSS is going to do the linear regression analysis for us. So here we go. This is our variable entered this is our model summary and this is our ANOVA. So that is how SPSS does. This is the coefficient, the coefficient, um, the coefficient correlation. Then we have our histogram sitting down here. Then we have a scattered plot also for our um, dependent variable for the number of sections which we picked. So we have um, the regression standardized predicted value. This is our scattered plot. This is our histogram sitting well. This is our residual statistics. This is the coefficient. This is the coefficient re re correlation. This is the coefficient correlation model. And we have the coefficients. So we see the unstandardized, the coefficient standard error, standardized coefficient beta. So this is simply how to do a linear regression analysis. We have the um, ANOVA, the regression, the ANOVA. Um, we have the regression, the residual, and the total. So this is how to do a linear regression. Let's go and see how to do other examples. If you want to um, use this, the, there's an easy way to copy and paste. If you want to copy and paste this on a Word document, you just click on the one you want to copy and right click, go to copy as, then you can copy this as an image. So you can copy as image. Then you go to um, your Word document where you want to paste it. Remember, right click, go to copy as. If you have an older version, you may see copy special. Is the same thing as copy as copy as image then open a word document where you can go so this is a word document i can come and paste it over here and this is the anova table has pasted on my word document so let's see other examples that we can do other type of um, regression analysis we can do with spss so i'll just go back to spss then we'll go back again to analyze click on regression let's do a two-stage list square so for our dependent variable, that would be um, the number of sessions. Then for the explanatory variable, which is like the independent variable, we are going to pick the gender, the patient gender, or let's use the patient age this time. Then for the instrumental variable, let's use the patient gender. So we'll click on it. Then you can also come to the options and click on this display covariance par parameters. Click on OK. Then you can include constant equations also. After clicking OK, 
SPSS is going to do the two-stage least squares regression analysis for us. So I'll just click on OK. And it's going to load. So this is our two-stage least squares analysis. This is the model description, the model summary, the ANOVA for this, and the coefficient for this, and the coefficient correlations. So that is how simple you can do this. And you can come and click on the one you want to use. So let's just click on the model summary and copy as, on it, copy as, copy as image, go to your Word document or wherever you would like to paste it. So I'll just come under here and paste it. And this is the model summary for the two stage least squares analysis that we did. So let's take one more example from the other section that we have. So we've done linear regression from here. We've done the two stage regression from here. So let's do a multinormal logistic test, regression test. So we'll come pick our dependent variable also, and we use the number of sessions as dependent variable. For the factors, let's use gender. And the, for the covariates, let's use age. Then for the model, you come and click the type of model that you want to use. Let's use a full factorial model and include intercept model. Click continue. For the statistics, um, you do you want to do a pseudo R square? Do you want to do a step summary? Do you want to do a model fitting information? information criteria for the parameters you want to do estimates likelihood ratio or just the likelihood ratio so we'll click on continue you can come and define your subpopulations here so we'll just click on continue and click on ok for the multinormal logistic regression and here we go for the multinormal logistic um, regression. This is the case proceeding summary for the number of sessions and the patient gender. So we'll see the marginal percentage for each of them. Then we can also see below that the model fitting information, the pseudo arrow square, the likelihood ratio test. So we can also copy this and take it to our Word document. Um, we'll copy as copy as image, take it to our Word document to post to paste it for our research work. So this here will go, our likelihood ratio. So that is how to do regression analysis on SPSS. Please, if this was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section below and I will see you in the next SPSS tutorial. Cheers.